Hello everyone and welcome back to another Arduino tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to change DC motor's direction using push button. So let's get started. So this right here is the final result. I'll just start the simulation. So when I press the right button, the DC motor's direction is clockwise and when I press the left button, DC motor's direction is anti-clockwise. So, and one more thing, when I'm pressing push button, right push button, the value of RPM is in positive numbers. And when I'm pressing the left push button, the value of RPM is in negative numbers. So now let's just create a new Arduino project. So I've created one and named it DC motor direction. So first of all, just take one Arduino Uno R3 and then one DC motor. So we are going to connect DC motors terminal 1 and terminal 2 to Arduino's digital pin 5 and 6. So you can connect with any digital pin you want. And then we are going to take two push buttons, one for anti-clockwise and one for clockwise. So for the left one is for anti-clockwise and the right one is for clockwise. So the, uh, I'll just explain the push button pins. So push button has two, uh, four pins, terminal 1A, terminal 1B, terminal 2A and terminal 2B. So the terminal 1A and terminal 1B are internally connected and terminal 2A and terminal 2B are internally connected. So now let's take one resistor of 10 kilo ohm and connect it with the push button. And we are going to connect the resistor with Arduino's ground pin. So now let's just duplicate the resistor, command C, command V, and paste it over here. And we are going to do the same for the second push button. Term, uh, connect it with the resistor, connect the terminal 1A with the resistor, and the resistor with the second ground pin of Arduino. And then we are going to connect terminal 1B with Arduino's digital pin. So I'll connect the second push button's terminal 1B with 4 pin. You can connect with any pin number you want. And I'm going to connect the terminal 1B with 7th pin. And then we are going to connect the terminal 2A with 5 voltage so that the push button gets power. So we don't have another 5 voltage pin in Arduino. So we are going to just take a wire uh, and connect it with the second terminal to it so this way the second push button is also getting power so now our building part is complete now let's do the coding so i'll convert the blocks to text and delete all the coding which is in built so first of all we are going to make two variables state 1 and state 2 so uh, state 1 is 0 and duplicate this and just change the state 1 to state 2 and state 2 is equal to 0 after that we are just going to define our DC motor so as we have connected our DC motors terminal 1a terminal 1 and terminal 2 to 5 and 6 pin numbers so we are going to define it so we are going to define dc1 is equal to 
so our dc1 is the negative one so i'll so we have connected the negative one with five so i'll write five and then we are going to again write end and then change the dc1 to dc2 is equal to six as we have connected our terminal two with six pin number after that we are going to again write int and then write push button one so i'll in short i'll write push one is equal to so the push button one is this one so we have connected our push one with seven pin number so we'll write seven and then again write push two i'll change the push one to push two is equal to four so now our defining part is complete now let's do the void setup so just write void it's two o'clock setup so for the void setup we are going to define if the component is output or input so just write pin mode and then dc1 comma output so the dc motor is an output part so that's why we are writing dc1 as output so just duplicate the dc1 comma output and paste it and change the dc1 to dc2 after that we are again going to write pin mode and then we are going to write push one comma input so our uh, both the push buttons are input as they are giving input to dc motor after that just duplicate that and paste it and write push to so now our defining part is complete now let's do the void loop so for the void loop we are uh, I'll just make it in small letters. So we are first of all going to write state one our variable state one is equal is equals to digital read and then in brackets push one. and then one semicolon and then just duplicate that and paste it and change the state one to state two and push one to push two so now we are going to just uh, create some if then else statement so write if and then in brackets if the state one State, uh, state 1 is equals to equals to high so that means when we press this push button then uh, we'll so when we press this push button I did after uh, the DC one should be on so write digital right and then in brackets so DC one comma high so high means on and low means off so just duplicate that and change the dc1 to dc2 and dc2 should be off so when we press this push button it should go clockwise as dc1 is high and dc2 is low so after that we are going to write else and then one open bracket and close bracket so for the else we would turn off the both the dc motors so that means when we are not pressing any push buttons it would not rotate so just duplicate the if then else part and then paste it and change the state one to state two and we are going to make uh, in the state one we are going to make dc1 as low and dc2 as high 
and again we are going uh, yeah that's that's it so we'll i'll just check if it's working or not so when we press the left button it goes clockwise and when we press the right button it goes anti clockwise so we would just we i'll just change that so inside the state one is equals to equals to high just change the dc one comma high to low and dc two comma low to high and then in the second is state two is equals to equals to high make the dc one as high dc one comma high and dc two comma low so now let's check if it's working so i'll remove that so it should work yes well so when we press the right button it goes clockwise and when we press the left button it goes anti-clockwise so now our project is if you have any doubts you can ask me on my scratch studio the links are in the description below so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you later